Hey guys, for Collider News, I'm Natasha Martinez. Deadpool was a massive hit, but when the film was in development, it was far from a sure thing. For years, Ryan Reynolds, director Tim Miller, and writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick worked to convince 20th Century Fox that an R-rated superhero movie was a solid investment, and they finally succeeded last year. However, even though Fox greenlit the production, they still hedged their bets by moving forward with a much smaller budget than most superhero films. In fact, the budget was so low that there was no room to have writers on set during filming. While on AMC's Geeking Out, Reese and Wernick revealed that Reynolds paid to have them on set out of his own pocket. We were on set every day. Interestingly, Ryan wanted us there. We were on the project for six years. It was really a core creative team of us, Ryan and the director Tim Miller. Fox, interestingly, wouldn't pay for us to be on set. Ryan Reynolds paid out of his own money, out of his own pocket. In Hollywood, it's rare to see a creative team remain on a project that's stuck in development for as long as Deadpool, especially the screenwriters. In most cases, the studio brings in new writer after new writer to see if they can move the script towards something they feel comfortable greenlighting. With Deadpool, however, Reese and Wernick were the screenwriters from day one, and clearly Reynolds felt it was important to have them involved throughout. Fox hasn't set a release date for Deadpool 2 yet, but we know that Reese and Wernick are penning the screenplay for Miller to direct and for Reynolds to star in again. For all the latest on the sequel as we get it, head on over to Collider.com and be sure to subscribe to the Collider Videos YouTube channel to keep up with all the must-know movie news.